hello guys and welcome to another video on my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to create a photo collage effect in Photoshop so this is the image I'm going to be working on and I will be providing the description of this I mean the download links of this image in the description below you may download it and practice on your own anyway the first step is going to be creating a new layer and for that I'm going to be pressing ctrl shift and N on the keyboard to bring up the new layer dialog box and I, in the name I'm going to type as white I'm going to give the name white to this layer you can name it anything you want does not really matter and then click on ok next I'm going to press shift and F5 to bring up the fill dialog box in the contents I'm going to be choosing white the mode is going to be normal and the opacity is going to be 100% and then click on ok then I'm going to make the layer white as invisible for the time being and create another layer by pressing Ctrl Shift and N. I'm going to name this layer as Photo 1. And then click on OK. Next I'm going to activate the marquee tool by pressing M on the keyboard and make a rectangular selection. on this layer move the selection a little bit ok and again shift and F5 to bring up the fill dialog box I'm going to choose white mode is going to be normal and opacity is going to be 100% and then click on ok then press ctrl D and deselect Next by pressing Ctrl J, I am going to make a copy of this layer. I am going to go into the layers palette and I am going to rename this layer as Photo 2. I am going to press Ctrl and T to bring up the transformation controls. Then I am going to drag this rotation point to the bottom of the selection and then I'm going to move it three-fourth way towards the right right about here okay and then go into the angle and enter the value of minus 30 and then click on this check mark next I'm going to make another copy of this layer photo 2 by pressing ctrl J and rename this layer as photo 3 then I'm going to press ctrl A to select the whole layer then go into the edit menu and then transform and then choose flip horizontal press ctrl D to deselect hide both the layers photo 2 and photo 3 select the layer photo 1 press ctrl J to make a copy of the layer rename the layer as photo 4 press ctrl and T to bring up the transformation controls drag the rotation point first to the bottom and then 3 fourth towards the right and this time for the angle type minus 60 and then click on the check mark press ctrl J to make a copy of this layer rename this layer as photo 5 ctrl A to select the whole layer go into edit transform and flip horizontal press ctrl D to deselect now go into the layers palette and arrange all these layers photo 1 to photo 5 in a ascending order that means photo 1 should be on the top of the pile and photo 5 should be at the bottom of the pile okay 
now turn off the visibility of all the layers except the background layer and photo one select the background layer press ctrl j to make a copy of it double click on the layer name and rename this as image one now drag this layer image one to the top of the pile right click on the image and select create clipping mask now turn on the visibility of the layer white <coughs> excuse me now repeat this process for all the other layers that is photo 2 photo 3 photo 4 and photo 5 so select the background layer ctrl j to make a duplicate of it image 2 Okay, now select the layer photo 1, right click on it and then select the blending options. In the blending options, go to stroke, select the position as inside, select the color as white and for the size enter something around 35. I am going to enter 35. You may enter anything which suits the size of the image and then go down to the drop shadow select the distance something around again 35 and the size is 30 the rest of the image looks good so I'm going to click on OK now I'm going to right click on the layer photo one again and then click on copy layer style and copy this layer style on all the other layers that is photo 2, photo 3, photo 4 and photo 5. So paste. Okay. Now again turn off the visibility of the layer white again and choose the background layer go to the filter menu and then into filter gallery and choose the view size to fit in view choose the detail as something around 10 and darkness as 15 it is looking good for the size of my image so i'm going to click on ok Next I am going to turn on the visibility of the layer white again and then go into the opacity and enter something a value like 70 and then click on enter I mean press enter. So this is your basic photo collage effect in Photoshop. I hope the video was useful to you. If you found this video to be useful please hit the like button and if you want to view more videos like this you can consider subscribing to my channel anyway thanks for watching and have a nice day